Hey guys, how you're doing well? So uh, today I wanted to do this video, which is uh, like a tutorial to connect uh, the GBRC uh, started kit for the tiny whoop uh, drone controller. So uh, let's do it. So I already bought uh, a new kit. So let me show you. Uh, okay, this is uh, how it comes. So most of you already know this controller. Uh, I already put a, a necklace right there. Uh, so this is the controller, uh, the GR8 controller. Uh, it comes with his antenna. So uh, most of you maybe are wondering how to connect this and use it in the simulator. So because it's very important to uh, get some practice before start flying, uh, I'll recommend to you totally to use a uh, uh, drone simulator before uh, flying your drone so you can avoid to uh, get crashed. Uh, I already <laughs> crashed my drum and lastly I needed to buy another component so uh, I'm waiting for it so meanwhile I'm look forward for the way to connect this controller to the computer and trying to use it in the simulator so uh, first of all uh, this is quite a new controller from GPRC. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, it has the mode 2, which is the throttle in the left side. Um, I like to show you this, which is uh, the buttons. It won't change a little bit. So uh, I was checking some of the other videos that uh, just uh, display what is the function of each uh, button but in this case uh, it doesn't matter uh, you get used to it in the controller uh, what I wanted to show you which is uh, like a new feature is these two ports it's a USB-C port and um, 3.5 millimeters auxiliar port which is the one that we need today and this is the power button uh, so yeah uh, so guys uh, you are gonna need uh, two things to to connect this controller to the PC uh, so first of all we will need uh, an auxiliary cable which is this one so be sure is a jack in each side um, you will need to connect this to the 3.5 millimeters uh, plug right here um, in the computer be sure to connect it in the microphone uh, port so uh, what we are gonna do here is to uh, catch the radio signals uh, through uh, um, a software so let's do it so I'm gonna turn on my controller so uh, I don't like to turn in a in the normal mode because it is star vibrating so to avoid uh, get loss of battery I just push the uh, bind and setup buttons at the same time then I push the power button and I keep it for a couple of seconds and then the controller will start vibrating uh, the controller light sorry will start uh, uh, lining <laughs> in this way so uh, once I get my controller let me show you I uh, I open this program. I'll let you the link below to allow the software, which is Smart Propo Plus. This software will allow us to 
catch the radio signals that are being transmitted in the output so i'm gonna show you here so uh, this controller has eight channels so as you can see here i'm just moving the throttle and the third uh, row is now moving so as you can see uh, it is working it is catching all the signals from the controller so that, that that's quite good and if I open the the in my case I have this from Racing Lake Simulator. Uh, if you have another one that you can recommend me, uh, I'll appreciate it and um, please let it in the comments box. Um, yeah, that, that that's pretty much it. So uh, just a couple of seconds to uh, open the the simulator. This is the overall sim, which is a uh, really good simulator I recommend it since it starts from all the the drum the flying modes which is uh, the angler mode then horizontal and lastly acro so now uh, you can also uh, race with other users at the same time online feature uh, that is quite good and it has also a lot of uh, modes which is all race, multiplayer, freestyle, search and destroy well I only practice in this one which is strange but let me show you before uh, how to set up the controller which is very easy uh, this is catching a virtual joystick which is not my controller but uh, I don't care I recommend you to do a manual calibration and then you can check the controller which is moving right here so I can move the drone and start doing it so this is pretty much it so uh, let me uh, step back I, I was doing the onboarding and then in the pro mode I just did the beginner mode to be sure I was doing it way. and so the software recommend me that the internet intermediate mode could be uh, quite confusing so it just uh, skipped me that part <laughs> and take took me to the pro mode so uh, I was doing this race which is uh, figure 8 so um, I'm still looking forward to doing it the right way so uh, let, let me show you uh, how to do this race and um, how they do it so I need to compete with another other guy right here I'm not the best so I just start flying drones a couple of weeks ago when the tiny boop just the tiny boop tiny go sorry tiny go 4k okay I, I just need to step back and start again but yeah that, that's pretty much it guys Thank you for watching. Um, yep, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that will be it. <laughs> so the other guy just get another <laughs> left away from me. <laughs> so, uh, I will do it. Here. I will stop it here. So thank you for watching. Yep. <laughs> Bye. Oops.